Good morning, everyone. We will be presenting about prematurity and how it is an emerging global issue. I would like to start by introducing myself. I'm Rasegna Bupala, a rising senior at Southwest Side High School. I am a published author of both a novel and a poem. I'm greatly involved in Science Olympiad, host uh, dance team, and other extracurricular activities. In the future, I aspire to serve as a researcher in the public health industry and learn more about microbiology and epidemiology. Hi everyone, I'm Aditi Bang, a rising senior at South Forsyth High School. I'm the girl of president and the Georgia High School Democrats treasurer. I'm passionate about public health and am involved in Science Olympiad and HOSA to grow my interest. I hope to pursue a career in medicine as an OBGYN and be involved in public health so I can help underprivileged communities receive better access to menstrual hygiene and reproductive health resources. I'd like to give a straight, slight introduction to the format of our presentation. We would like to start off by providing you all with an introduction to prematurity, then health disparities among preterm labor, public health interventions, our next steps in involvement, uh, conclusion, and finally sources and acknowledgements. To start off, a premature baby is defined as one born before 37 weeks of gestation. In the last 10 years, prematurity has become the leading cause of neonatal mortality and now it is becoming a prevalent cause of childhood mortality. Additionally, premature babies are vulnerable to various conditions such as respiratory distress syndrome, ap apnea, and patent ductus arteriosus. Some of the major causes of prematurity include stress, poverty, lack of proper access to health care, alcohol, and smoking. Proper prenatal care is very crucial to the well-being of the child and the mother in order to prevent premature births. The population affected in the process include neonates and mothers, who are both directly affected physically and emotionally, and also families of the neonates, who are indirectly affected emotionally and financially. Now we'll be going over some basic facts associated with preterm birth. In 2019, one in 10 infants born in the United States was born premature. So this shows how prevalent of a global issue prematurity is. Generally, a premature baby misses out on the critical periods of gestation when the lungs, brain, and liver fully develop. So such babies are at higher risk for breathing problems, feeding difficulties, intellectual and de developmental disabilities, and hearing problems. In 2000. In 2017, the economic burden associated with preterm birth and care was $32.4 billion. So this shows how big of an issue it is and that it's not just a physical issue, but also a financial issue. There are several global disparities associated with preterm labor, which we would like to address. In 2017, preterm rates for Black women was 13.92%, and for Hispanic women, it was 9.61%. They were higher than non-Hispanic white women. The infant mortality rate for Black infants is about twice that of non-Hispanic white infants. According to the World Health Organization, more than 60% of preterm births take place in Africa and South Asia. Prematurity is commonly seen in low-income areas, so this is a global issue and not just something that primarily affects second and third world countries. Going over some more global disparities, very premature babies in low-income countries die about 90% of the time compared to 10% in high-income countries. And if, out of 50 million babies being pre born premature, prematurely annually, 1 million die because of medical complications. If there were affordable cost services, three-fourths of these deaths could have been prevented. Let's move on to discuss public health interventions. The PREMI Act was passed by the US government to allow preterm birth research at the CDC and reauthorize programs to promote healthy pregnancies. The goal of this act was to reduce the preterm birth rate in the nation. Programs such as Special Supplemental Nutrition Program for Women, Infants and Children, also known as the WIC, Healthy Star, Early Intervention Services, Breastfeeding Support and Home Visitation Programs, Head Start, and Literary Initiatives have been developed as a means of developing women's, pregnant, women's health before, during, and after pregnancy in order to prevent death and disability among newborns. Perinatal quality collaboratives are working towards improving the quality of care for mothers and babies. They promote the use of certain steroids to prevent morbidity and certain medications to prevent preterm birth in high-risk women. 
as founders of the Georgia chapter Mad Hatter Knits Foundation, an organization that supplies hit hats to premature babies in the NICUs, we both have a special connection to this topic as we strive to help premature babies and their families by providing them with love and care and also help them maintain homeostasis in these care units. Our goal is to spread awareness about prematurity to our community regarding the risks of alcohol, smoking, drugs, and unhealthy diets for preterm labor. We were just a team of four when we began in August, but we were really determined in our cause and to serve our community. Hearing what this organization strives to perform, we immediately started learning how to knit and contacting hospitals to donate within our state. Currently, we have expanded to over 50 volunteers and donated to six NICUs in Georgia. In addition, we have knitted over 800 hats for premature babies and have been featured on the daily inspiration section of the magazine Voyage Atlanta for our work. We also educate our volunteers on prematurity and what else we as the youth can do. We would like to conclude our presentation by emphasizing how significant this issue is in our world. Prematurity is the leading cause of for neonatal mortality and a growing cause for child mortality. We can only solve this issue by working together. And please educate yourself, your family, and others so we can work together to address prematurity. So here's our list of uh, the resources we use for our presentation. Thank you so much to John Hopkins University and Global Health Leaders Conference for giving us the opportunity to present about this topic. We would also like to appreciate our Georgia Mad Hatter Knits Foundation team and give our love to our families for their support. Here's our contact information. Please feel free to contact us at any point of time and we would love to answer any questions you may have regarding our presentation, Mad Hatter Knits or prematurity in general. Thank you so much for your attention. We're so fortunate to have been given a platform to share information about a topic so close to us. Thank you.